Good morning everyone, welcome to our channel and welcome to Saturday. Hope everyone is doing okay today. Um, yeah, so a bit of a lazy chill out morning. Um, but Ben's watching this on CBeebies. Sam was on his game playing for so, but he's actually lost Ben some TV time so he's watching something on YouTube. So what are you watching on YouTube? I can't get the watches. So um, I do, we do monitor what you're watching on there. Um, but I've also got some washing to put out. I don't know where to put it out or not though actually because it's a bit overcast. It's only a towel so it might dry. And then, yeah, so we we'll see what I'm saying from work. We're just heading off to Elwood to do our normal Saturday shop. So as you can see, Stephen's home from work. We've all had something to eat, haven't we Sammy? Was your pizza nice? Yeah. Obviously Sammy had a pizza. Um, what do you have? Some of those whole spaghetti chicken curry pot noodle things, didn't you? Yeah. And I had a... Um, those pasta pop things are quite nice and Ben had one of his pizzas. So yep, so now we're just heading off to Aldi do some shopping. What do you want from Aldi, Sammy? Mm. No, what do you want? Yeah, no we need everything, but what do you need from what do you want from Aldi? Mm. Your, your cookies, your pies and your yogurt, some um, know that because he's going away on Wednesday, he needs to take a fat lunch with him. Don't you see that? So we could yeah. get some things he wants to take oh, with him. I don't know how to open your packlets because you're going to try for a soup first on Wednesday. I think it's pretty good. I feel like getting tired for soup at the end of the morning. I think so. We'll have to look at your itinerary later on because I'm not too quite sure what time it's getting there or anything like that. So, yeah, you will hopefully, fingers crossed, Aldi has got plenty of stuff in because just recently at Aldi, you go there, but at this time of day, they've got the film shelves, have they? So, I don't know if it's they haven't got the staff to build the shelves or they haven't got the staff to put on the shelf. Arrived at Aldi and it's quiet. Isn't it? The car park is empty. Either that, um, or they've got their stock on the shelf, probably. So, even yes, yeah, so we're gonna have to see what we're, and hopefully, fingers crossed, have a good shopping trip because Ben's gonna have to move this morning, isn't it? Or say this afternoon, isn't he? Nice. At the moment, he is. Yeah, isn't it? That's, big. That's good. I like the idea of that. Nice, a nice, empty, a nice, quiet, relaxing shopping trip. I like the idea. Of so, yes, yeah, so what you're seeing, see why it is actually empty in here. Um, so office this week we got kale. I don't know. But is this some kale for a change? Um especially if you cook it like a cabbage, I suppose. You get some so different, get some cabbage for a change. Um what's that? Sweetheart cabbage, sugar snap peas, beetroot, asparagus and some mushrooms. I know we've got mushrooms at home. So Sammy darling. Can you get mummy three packets of bananas, please? Yeah. Bananas are here. What? Well, I put some in. Let's get, get the other packet as well. Because the kids have them for school. I always like to go for the greeny colour ones. The last I set off. There's some greeny ones there, actually. What they like. They're a bit better, actually, because they're last. Those ones. Got some strawberries. Um, not bad actually a pound. Get some of those. Well, they look quite nice actually. Um not English strawberries yet though are they? So I think it's how could you get a wonky raspberry and a wonky strawberry? <laughs> That's crazy. That's some great Ben, you right, Sita? See you're such a happy mood. I like it when you're such a happy mood, don't you? Well, but the thing is with Ben, you can never tell for too long there, that's the problem. Right, um, Ben, you need some apples to score, sweetheart. What was some little um, succeeds? What's the one? Easy peelers or those ones? They're quite tiny, though, those ones are, aren't they? What are those ones like? About the same size, to be honest. If you're on there, they're a lot cheaper. Right, so now I've got mints in the freezer at home. Um, you, do you want some burgers again? Do you enjoy those burgers? Yeah. What are these ones? Yeah. Oh, you've got these ones here. $2.99, they yeah, get these ones, you get four in there, so they're for Stephen and for Ben. Um, meatballs. That's not bad actually, a little casserole kit for three seventy nine. dollars you make your own. Got some chops. I haven't got a price on those ones. What do you want the... Um, do you want the chops? 
Would you rather have medallions? They look quite nice, don't they? And then that way it's easier for Ben. You haven't got a timber jiggy. Oh, if you want the chicken, can't have one because oh, I haven't got any. No. no. You got your pies, Sita? Where are your pies? You just want your pies, it's probably Daddy's pies are in the freezer. Go on then, get your chicken and creep pies, you've got the last one that's left. Oh, Sammy, sweetheart, go get your apple juice. If you can see, it's got his nose in his tablet. I say, got your apple juice. <laughs> Do we need apple and orange? Well, oh, this is too good for that. Steve was looking at the fish, that smelly fish, I hate it, it's horrible. Do we need um, orange and black coat juice? Yes. yes, let's get some of these ones. So this, this is really nice. It's one pound thirty-five, one pound nine, but it's, the kids love it. So these are the special buys. They've also got what are these things? Heat and eat things. They look quite different actually. What are they? Eight ninety-nine. So good the idea. Um, oh, look at these little kitchen utensil things. Cut off a spoon. What's that? Some tongs. <laughs> What's that? Oh, so a little weird potato masher. And then what's got a, a whisk there as well. And then up there. That's different, it's got an egg ring. Huh. That's a cute little grayer. Yeah? And obviously you've got the potato peel up there because I can't quite reach all those up there. Sammy, what are you looking for? Band. That's what he's looking for. He is if he's not naughty. He is if he's naughty. That's a, that's a small little microwave there, isn't it? That one. And then down here, a rope of tomato sauce, I think, aren't we? So we could get some baked beans and some sketty, please, sweetheart. Yeah. Tell you what, these are Ben's favourite. I wonder if he's noticed them when he walks, walks past. Ben. Yes, he has. If you want them, darling, put them in the trolley. Put them in the trolley. That's it. Have them in the car then. All right, those ones. They're different. These digestive moment things. Aren't they? Um, things. And they've also got the honeycomb ones there as well. So, What's that? Oh, wow, those are big screw drivers, aren't they? They're big. They're huge. Yeah, I've three dollars, I want you. Okay, you yeah, okay. still live out in the summer when the steering wheel gets hot, get a cover for it. Yeah. Gorilla tape and stuff like that is. Men's slippers. These look quite cute, these little socky things. For two forty nine, so not bad at all. Well see off we go. What have we got up here? Just you can see they've still got like all the old um, baby stuff and their baby thing on there. Little keyboard, they're quite cute, Sammy. This will work. Up here. There you go, Sammy. Give me a band, look. The drum. Maracas things, a trumpet. Little, whatever they are. It's not bad for $8.99 either, are they? So then guys, yep, that brings Saturday's vlog to a close and a uh, bit of an apology for you guys. I'm sorry, but the computer accidentally deleted some of the files this evening. <coughs> so I don't know if it's the computer I or... I tr started transferring the files from Shell's phone to the computer and uh, accidentally deleted some of them. Yeah, so, so I don't know if it's my phone or the computer, but I think it might be where somewhere trying to invest in a proper vlogging camera because obviously, like I said, I just use my phone at the minute. And maybe my phone's just overworked or something. But yeah, you've been vlogging on this now for 605 days. I so. have, so yeah. So anyone who's used the property vlogging camera, um, some recommendations, please. Because some people say the Canon GX is good and some people say this camera is good. So we haven't got a clear up for you at the moment. What was the best ones to get? Yeah, guys, uh, comment down below what your ideals for camera use is. Do you go 4K? Do you just over HD? And... You know, let me know now. Let me know down below what you know cameras you use, because maybe it'll give these vlogs a bit more feel. Exactly. Anyway, I'm a bit annoyed with that. I've showed you what I had left from today. Um, do apologise. And uh, also today, yep, yeah, um, me and the wife's 
first day we met each other 18 yeah, years ago. Yeah, it's quite scary, 18 years ago, wasn't it, back in 2001? Yeah, March 23rd, 2001 in Northampton, just outside HMM, I saw this one for the first time. Uh -huh, I saw you as well, <laughs> look at us 18 years later, who would have thought, who would have thought eh? Yeah. Um, but the thing is, the place, that restaurant we had our first meal together, that's not there anymore, is it? Yeah. It was the Moon on the Square. Yeah. Moon on the Square pub in Northampton, the uh, last time I was there it was all boarded up and shut down, so I don't know if anything's replaced it. I don't know, do go again, I'll have a look and see, see what's there, yeah. So it has been a really... It's been a good 18 years, but it's also been quite stressful as well. Isn't it? The last 18 years, so much has changed and things, but... Yeah, a lot of people have left, you know, passed on and... Exactly, like issues with Bear and stuff like that as well. Family, and family problems continue, you know, family doesn't want to know you, which no. is bad. But it's their own fault, really, you know, I blame them. They're the ones who, uh, you know, don't, don't want to come and see Ben, you know. No. They're the ones that don't understand what autism is. They don't, know. do they? But it's tough, you know, they won't understand. They will never, ever understand how tough it's been no. on me and Cheryl for the things that have happened over the last 13 years, years of Ben's exactly, life. Yep. You know, it wasn't supposed to be this way, no. you know. We, we didn't know what the future was going to bring for him. But then again, Ben's happy in his own little world. He's been, tell you what, he's been a really, really good boy today. So it's, you tell you what, he's really enjoyed shopping today, didn't he? Yeah, um, looks like we've cured his problem so far, touch wood. Fingers crossed. Um, but you think the only problem is when Ben is happy when he goes shopping, he likes to pick things up off the shelf and put them in the trolley, which is good in one way because we've encouraged him, but when he does that, unfortunately, our shopping board gets a bit higher. <laughs> yeah, it does. But anyway, guys, yeah, apologies for today. Yeah, I showed you what I could. So, um, yeah, and we'll love you and leave you. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Sunday. See you tomorrow. Bye, Bye. guys.